Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now today we're going to take a look at a toy line that I've not covered before as it's not actually one that I have in my collection and that is the Centurions by Kenner. Now these figures here have been very kindly lent to me by a long time subscriber of Toy Poloi uh, just for the purposes of doing this video so a big thanks to him for lending me these. Now they are really cool figures they're pretty sturdily made and they have some good uh, sort of construction techniques and uh, articulation uh, that's uh, sort of available to all the joints you can clearly uh, bend the knees you can actually rotate the hips out as well uh, the arms as well rotate out a bit and sort of rotate up and have uh, moving elbow joints but there is a really sort of common flaw with these figures and that is the fact the arms can be broken off here you can see another Ace McLeod where his arms have been snapped off now this is uh, down to a design flaw I would say in the toy you can rotate his arms all the way around but in the sort of down position you can also rotate the arms out slightly but if you then try and rotate the arms up they sort of get snagged and this in uh, encourages the little tab inside to be snapped off if you uh, sort of rotate them too quickly and that is what happens to these figures more often than not in fact you can see i have here three figures all with their arms missing so today i'm going to show you how to reattach the arms to these uh, kenner centurion figures so here we have the three figures I'm going to work on. These are the three main hero characters. We have on the left Ace McLeod, in the middle we have Jake Rockwell, and on the right, uh, let me just check my paperwork here because I can never remember this guy's name, uh, Max Ray. So that is Max Ray there. It initially wasn't clear what had actually broken on these figures until I managed to crack open uh, the blue guy and inside I found the missing pieces that should be attached to uh, this little sort of last little tab bit that's on the arm and it turns out that the inside part of the arm should be a little sort of uh, flat disc like that and what happens is when you rotate the arm and sort of push it upwards the outside parts of the disc are snapped off and your left with a little bar like that or in some instances you're left with no bar at all uh, if you do have the little bar bit you can actually still sort of slot the arms in place if i just sort of push that in and rotate it around and you can see the arm does hold in place but obviously if you rotate the arm forwards it falls out because uh, there's nothing to hold it in so i've had to work out a way to recreate the little sort of flat disc part that goes onto those and also then get this back in the body so that's what's taken me some time to work out but i think i have an answer now the real problem with these toys is actually how to get them apart. They've been glued all the way around and it is a really strong glue so they're incredibly hard to prise open. Now the first blue guy I actually just stuck some pliers in and uh, gently sort of prized it and the whole body on this one cracked open actually pretty easily so I think this one had just had not a large amount of glue put on it. Uh, but this uh, yellow guy really has taken a bit of a battering trying to get him apart as you can see here I've had to sort of do some fairly serious work on the side of him because what you've got to do is get uh, the body part split open enough that you can put the new arm fitting in so um, I've sort of hit this uh, with a small screwdriver and a hammer uh, into the gaps just to try and sort of crack this open a bit and once you've cracked it a little bit you can then get something like a, a sort of screwdriver blade in just push that in and start to prise it apart uh, and it will the glue will break um, and you can see that after a little bit of sort of fiddling and that you can prise it open and you only need to do it a little bit just so that we can put a new socket uh, in that hole there so it's a little bit fiddly I've not actually filmed myself doing it um, I may do on the green one towards the end of this video but for the moment uh, you can see it's a case of trying to crack the glue and once you've done that we can then start working on uh, repairing the arm so now we can get, move on to sort of prepping the arms. Now uh, you can see these have little bits of the tabs left. What we're going to do is actually chop those off because we're going to replace the whole of uh, that little mechanism with a large headed screw. Now you can buy screws like this off eBay for a few pounds for a whole bag of them. Uh, but the thing that's really good about them is they have a very large flat head. And if I show you uh, the dimensions of this, this one is uh, 11 millimeters across, but it's only uh, sort of less than two millimeters deep and it has a fairly long screw which is great because what we're going to do is actually screw this quite deeply into the arm uh, and then that should give it a really nice firm fixing for uh, replacing the shoulder joint so really now we've got to do is prep this now i was hoping that i would be able to sort of uh, carefully sort of chip this down using some plastic nippers which i think is going to be possible and just try and make a nice flat surface uh, where the original sort of disc would be. I may use some little files to try and get a nice flat surface on that. 
but uh, it shouldn't be too hard to do. And like we'll do the same on this side as well, but we'll just chop off uh, the remains of uh, this little tab anyway. good we'll do the other one now so I'm just going to chop off uh, using some plastic nippers the old bit of plastic that we don't need So we're now ready to drill a hole into the arm. I've got two drill bits. I've got one drill bit which is slightly smaller than the uh, screw diameter of the screw we're putting in and another one which is a lot smaller because I'm going to drill a little pilot hole into this arm uh, and then use that as a guide for drilling the bigger hole. So first up we do the small hole, make sure everything's lined up. So that's the first hole done and for this second hole I know that I don't want the drill bit to go any deeper than the length of this screw so I've just put a bit of tape on the end of the drill bit so you can see that sort of marks how deep the drill needs to go that way I won't drill a hole that's much deeper and I have uh, reducing the risk of it coming out the other side of the arm so we'll get this drilled and then we can try and fit the screw and see how well that works. There's the hole. We now fit the screw and we'll see if uh, that actually does the job. So it's time to do a test fitting as I've never actually restored one of these toys before. I do not know if this will work but you can see that uh, screw has gone in quite nice and snug. Uh, we're using the blue guy here just because his body is nice and easily open there. We can just slot that in a little socket there, I'll clip his body back together and we can see if that arm works. So it now rotates fully all the way round and you can rotate it out and back. And that does look like a pretty good fix. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other arm on this guy. I also get this uh, yellow guy ready so we can see if we can slot that arm in because his body has not been split apart uh, so completely as this one. And if that all works, I'll show you how to get the green guy open as well. But that does look like a pretty solid fix actually I'm really pleased with that so uh, let's get this uh, blue arm done and uh, we'll go from there. So I've now got the other two arms ready. The blue guy, as we've shown before, it will be easy because his body does crack open. So I'm just going to push that open a bit, can slot that in. And then I can just put a bit of glue around that to hold it together. But that arm, again, all works and rotates and rotates into all the positions. Now this other guy, this is the guy I've been having a few troubles with. As you can see, there's a little bit of damage there, but it's in my mind perfectly acceptable to do that to a toy because this toy was broken anyway, so a little bit more damage is not a problem and really I managed to crack this open a fair bit you can see I can pull that open quite well so I reckon if I just push this in and sort of prise the body apart at the same time so I'm going to use uh, a screwdriver if I rotate that arm up or maybe even if I just put the screwdriver in to start with rotate the arm up and sort of get it half in place and with a bit of squeezing and twisting like so I can slot that arm back in there you go that's actually gone in quite easily and again now that arm rotates so really just going to need a little bit of glue just to push that body back together and hold it together and maybe a little bit of paint there just to hide it but the arm does work and that's the important part on this toy so I will now show you 
how I got into this body because that is the tricky part but the arm fix does work if you can get the bodies apart. So as I said this does seem to be the tricky bit. The glue is incredibly strong on these figures and it's glued all the way down this sort of seam and then around the back of uh, this sort of shoulder peg as well. So what I did was I took a scalpel like this and carefully sort of scored around the seam so that there was a, a sort of a, a mark in the glue and hopefully it will break along this line. I did this all around the, the seam and tried to dig in as deep as I could. And once we've done that, next comes the brutal part. And I'll take this out to my garage because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small flat headed screwdriver like this and to gently tap along the crack and try and split the crack open and then use a larger screwdriver to prise it apart. Now we don't actually need to prise this open fully, it's just enough so that we can get this bolt uh, back in there uh, and it does cause a little bit of damage. I've yet to work out a better way of doing it and as you can see that's the damage that I caused on the previous one which uh, you know can be covered up, it's not ideal uh, but at least the arm is back on. So uh, let's go to the garage and we'll see what we can do. So I started by using a screwdriver to sort of hammer a small hole and trying to crack open the side of him uh, but that really didn't work. I tried a few times and it just wasn't doing it on this one. This one seemed to be extra strongly glued together so in the end I had to get out my Dremel and cut a larger line down the side and then using that I could uh, prise open the body and so here we have uh, the figure as you can see with it prised open. It really is incredibly hard work to get these apart and there's a little bit more damage on this one but I think a little bit of milliput squeezed in that and in the some paint and you probably wouldn't even see it. So uh, now this uh, section is open enough again that we can get this arm in. So I can now put this arm back in using the screwdriver again. I'm just going to sort of prise apart the side uh, as far as I can, uh, get the screwdriver far enough down uh, that I can then take the arm and should be able to slot it under uh, the two gaps like so. Let's try to squeeze that in like there we go. And then that with a bit of twisting should now click back in place and you can see that arm now works again. So we've just got that little bit of damage to fix. Uh, I really wish there was a neater way of doing this but uh, it just seems impossible to get them apart. But as I said these are already broken figures so you're not losing anything by uh, doing a little bit more damage. And it is actually hidden by the time the arms are down like that you can't see it and have all the attachments on. Uh, you probably wouldn't even notice that had been done. And so here we go, this is the three guys all with their arms back on. Uh, this first one, uh, the arms work fully. Now this was obviously the easiest one to do because the body just uh, cracked apart uh, without any effort. So uh, that's a nice easy fix on that one. The other two have proved a little bit harder just because uh, the way the bodies are glued together. Uh, this guy ended up with a little bit of damage down the side as you can see, but the arm does work and it's uh, another usable figure. So I'm a little bit disappointed that the I had to sort of damage the side of it like that, but sometimes uh, there's not a lot you can do, especially when figures are sort of constructed in this way. And I'd much rather have a figure that I could display and use uh, with a little bit of damage on the side than something with an arm fallen off. Uh, and then this uh, final guy, again, you can see there's a little bit of damage down there, uh, but a bit of miller put on that and then uh, just sort of paint it over and actually that uh, won't look too too bad. Uh, this guy also has my sort of prototype fix on it. Uh, when I was working out how to fix this I thought maybe we could do it with a bit of Lego because uh, Lego is the sort of easiest way of doing all of these fixings and I used a little bit of Lego to create a new sort of tab hole but put it on at a slight sort of angle and an angle that you don't often rotate the arm to so you can see though it's sort of angled slightly backwards so to work, get this to work 
you slot the arm in and rotate it forwards like that uh, and then the arm holds in place and you can uh, move it about as you would normally and rotate it up to sort of all sorts of angles uh, the only problem is of course that if you rotate it back the arm does fall off so that's why I didn't bother showing you this fix although it is one that you could do if you didn't want to go down the route of sort of splitting the body apart uh, and you can just buy normal little le Lego bits I think I used a Lego ladder to uh, create this because you need a little T-junction and it does work reasonably well but the other fix is a lot uh, sturdier and you can really rotate this guy around and give him some sort of brute force so it's up to you how you actually want to fix this guy there's a couple of fixes there for you and I hope this has uh, been of interest to you I'm now going to re return these to the subscriber that sent them to me and he can have them on display in his collection so thanks for watching thanks for watching toy Poloi. subscribe for more great videos